Sasha Buttercup setting powders, the loose powder. <laughs> and I also got the compact powder foam. And it's basically the same thing. This is just like compact, this is loose. I really like this. I used to use the Laura Messi translucent powder and I like that one. But um I find that it can be kind of harsh on my skin tone sometimes. And I have to use just like a little, I can't even big with that because I was just looking at ashy <laughs> and that's not a good look. So I decided to get this one. It's a little more like forgiving and like yellow kind of complements my skin tone better. And yeah, I think it will look nice on like really dark skin people. I use the comeback form when I'm like in a rush. Or like if I have to take the powder somewhere, I don't want to take the loose one if it like spills everywhere, that's a disaster. But um, yeah, the compact foam really works well for that. It comes with this puff thing, which I don't really use, as you can see. Moving on to lashes, I have three new lashes that I got from Coco Lashes. This one is called Misha, and this one is called Goddess, and this one is dramatic like really really dramatic and I love it like I'm really liking dramatic lashes recently they look like mean lashes you know those lashes that cost like $30 yeah they look like them but they cost like six bucks which is kind of much for lashes they look like fluttery lashes and like I don't know so wispy I really like the look and I also got these ones I have on right now and they're called Queen Bee I placed an order on Colourpop, got a few eyeshadows as well as some liquid lipsticks, Nailer Nier. It's just a really really shimmery like kind of bronzy shade and it's really 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 pretty. And the eyeshadows are kind of like a different texture. It feels so creamy. I also got the shade to a T. Kind of brownie shade and I wanted to use this in like my crease. I also got the shade Lala and Lala is a really shimmery coppery shade and it's really nice as well. They're all super like pigmented and, and really really nice. And I also picked up this brush in um, quarters and it's just a brown um, kind of like it's not matte, it's like a satin shade. It also has the same texture as the um, eyeshadows. So for the liquid lipsticks, I got the shade Bombo. I got the shade Limbo. The shade um, Beeper and Tool. So I picked up some eyeshadows from Makeup Geek. And I've heard a lot of nice things about this um, brand and their eyeshadows and how pigmented they are. So I decided to pick up um, a few shades. I picked up nine shades and I also picked up the Z palette which is really expensive like I wasn't expecting a palette to be that expensive. This little thing is like um, $19 like $18 or something like that. My sister was saying oh those shades look really similar but I wanted to get shades that I would actually wear and not like try to branch out too much because I know myself, I don't experiment too much with my eyeshadow. I just wear the same type of shades and like maybe one school tone, one like warm tone. Like that's the most I can do in terms of experimenting with eyeshadow. But yeah, um I really really love this shade right here. It's called Cherry Cola and I've in I have it in my crease right now and it's gorgeous. And the shadows are so pigmented. I didn't get any shimmer shades because I have enough shimmer eyeshadows. I wasn't trying to buy big Z palettes because um, this one is kind of expensive. So I just stuck to the one that is cheap in my budget. I actually went and purchased from Tarte's um, websites because during this promotion of like you get um, like seven items, like full size items for like it was $69 and I was like oh my god and I saw this brush there and I was like oh my god I was about to buy this brush from Sephora just this brush alone from Sephora it's like $40 or $45 or something so I'm like why don't I get it and then get other things as well it's a swell powder cheek brush it just looks like this and it's like so soft 
I used to do my makeup today. If you guys can see, I used to like contour and also like add some bronzer, and it blends out like so beautifully. Like I haven't, like none of my brushes do as good as this. I just, I just really like this brush. I don't know what it is. Like it's just a really, really good brush, and it's kind of dirty because I used it today. It's the Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Airbrush Foundation, and I had to guess my shade on this one because I was just looking at like all their swatches just look they are not accurate at all so it says turn to deep skin with peach undertones and I don't have peach undertones I have like more like golden or like yellow undertones I decided to like get this because sometimes I do I do get darker and my undertone kind of like it leans to, towards like the peachy side. I also got the light camera f lashes for in one mascara. I haven't tried it yet, but um, I'm actually trying to finish my other tart one because I like to use my mascaras like one after the other because they expire. They expire like in four months, I believe. And yeah, I don't have money to be buying to be replacing two mascaras every four months so I'll just keep this one and I'll wait for the other one to finish then I can start using this one um but yeah hopefully it's good but I also got it with the um as well as the brush and the foundation and I also got an, an eyeliner skinny smolder eyes in the shade slate this one is like black with like shimmer I was looking for just like regular black eyeliner but they I guess they ran out. I got a Lip Surgeon's Matte Lip Tint and it just looks like this. And I really like um lip products that look like this because it's just easy. Like I can just I can just be walking and put this on. I don't need to like you know, be precise or anything. And the last product I got was the blush, the Amazonian Clay. 12 hour blush and it's in the shade true love once you see it in here it looks like a light pink and it doesn't look i have it on today and it doesn't look like what i have on today right but like once you swatch it it kind of changes and like i think the warmth in your skin kind of makes it like a deeper more natural pink i don't know what kind of technology these people are using but um this but it's really really nice like when I first looked at it I was like well okay that just looks like a normal blush but once I swatched it I was like oh, I love it okay I also got the um, high performance naturals their eyeliner basically it comes like this and it's like three eyeliners and I decided to get this because I really wanted a blue eyeliner and they have a blue one in there and this was like five dollars for all three so i was like and they, i know that they're gonna be good quality because tarte has nice eyeliners so i was like why not get all three of them and this is midnight plum this is copper and this is slate this blush palette it's just like a four set blush palette and it comes with aesthetic epic embellish and entertain it was 35 dollars but the retail value is 60 and they're actually really really tiny i thought they would be like full size but they're tiny so that's it for my haul guys i'm gonna film the clothing part of the haul right after this so you guys should stay tuned i hope you guys enjoyed that video and leave me a comment down below telling me like what you got from the sephora vip sale or like what your favorite product is from Sephora. Let's communicate, you know. I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye. I'm the video. You can call me out if it's it. This is my What you need, bro, you're interrupting. Can you see the, all the lights in my room? My daughter is having her video. So I'm kind of like... Oh my god. Oh my I'm kind of like... Don't thing. mess it up. Then I can use the clear one over the brow gel. No. Mm.